In this second clip, uh, this is Tayo Shalabari again, uh, demonstrating the uh, the process of installing a the free but very powerful uh, PHP list uh, mailing list manager software on your website. In this second clip, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to install it. The third clip will then show you how to configure and then start using it. Right. So you scroll down in your control panel, um, your C panel, uh, when you log in. And you scroll down and get to the Fantastico Deluxe icon, click on it. That contains a leads you to a menu of a different um, single click um, installation of app applications that can be very useful to you in your website, especially for your marketing. Scroll down and then you get to the PHP list. Okay, see the description there. Uh, when you click on it, it gives you the options to visit the forum or install do a new installation there's no installation currently of course so click on the new installation link okay and then specify the directory you want to have it installed into i'm going to use the same name i'm going to give it the same name as the name of the application the username tk that's one i prefer you use what you prefer password for now for me is this this is just for this demonstration you should use something that no one can easily guess okay then the admin email i would like to use there's one I generally use for things like this and then you should make sure you use one that you always have access to and then the account you and this got to be an existing account on the domain you are installing on in this case I have a, an account already on that domain that's tayo at webmarketsystem.com the password I cannot remember at the moment I think it was I generated a temporary one so I just use that okay I'll paste that in there okay and then all you have to do at this point is install PHP list. You see, I've skipped some fields. Don't bother with those fields. Just leave them with the default settings. And here it tells you a few things and then tells you how you where the link, the access URL for the um, interface will be, the mailing list manager. You click fix in, fi finish installation to complete the process. Now it's going to send an email to your box. Okay, the box you've specified as your your mailbox, not the one for configuration, but the one you you gave as the one you like to receive system messages on. Okay, that in my case is tanyoartikeshalot.com. So I'm going to check that in a few seconds once this uh, once it gives me the message that the installation is completed. Okay, so it's coming up slowly. I think the connection is right. So it's done. Um, it's giving me the all the details I just sent it to it and it's asking me if I want to email that those details to myself. I think you should do that so you can always get back to your mail and check what your username and password is because you may forget. Now, installation details were sent to me. Okay, I'm going to go to my box and check that in a few, maybe in a minute or so. Okay, it's here. That was the little message there. Okay, click on it and it gives you, it tells you exactly where to go if you want to get into the admin end and then for the users visitors to your website this is what they are going to get exposed to this is the page they will be taking to see subscribe to newsletter. So if you click on that okay you see it allows them to put in their name com confirm their mails decide if they want to receive e um, what do you call it emails in html format so basically you're going to take this link and if you want anybody to subscribe or you want to have it in your newsletter you you just basically paste that into the body of your newsletter but if it's just for you to use this system to send out mails then you just want to go back and get into the admin end okay the second link given to you this allows you to log in so i do my tk sure and then my password is uh, one two three four if you recall and when i log in okay here i am i'm going to stop this clip here so i can save